Every screen needs to be fastened with at least an M6 bolt. Motherfucker! Right to repair gains momentum. They're now talking about this in the EU and in Washington. And when I read what they're talking about, it sends shivers down my spine. Politicians on that side of the pond and on this side of the pond are imbeciles. They can't make laws for something as complex as this. And these lobbyists are pretty much radicals at the same time. So I am not supporting the movement to enforce how products need to be created. I think that there is a better solution. I mean broader legislation. Yes. These oligarchs need to put in some more effort, but they're not hindered by stupid laws on how to create certain devices. Otherwise, you have different devices on that side of the pond, different devices on this side of the pond, different devices in Africa and Australia. You don't want that because that drives cost up and also creates more pollution because you have different manufacturing processes, every manufacturing process is polluting. So no, we don't need legislation on how products are made in a mechanical sense. Even more so, these laws will hinder development. For example, if these laws were created 30 years ago in 1990 and the law would have stated every screen needs to be fastened with at least an M6 bolt. Well, back then it may have made sense because back then we had CRTs and even the LCD panels were as heavy as an average CRT. But these days it doesn't make any sense. Laws are a rust for society and especially laws that inhibit creators for creating. So no, we don't need to do that. We also see a trend uh, for further integration. IBM last week managed to do a two nanometer IC. It's incredible. I always figured that seven, maybe five nanometers was the smallest we could go until we had adverse effects from quantum tunneling, for example. That if you expect an electron to pass through your end gate, that all of a sudden it jumps and you expect a one and you get a zero. But they managed it because they managed it because they're not tied down by laws and regulations. We should be very aware of that. What I do think we should do is to at least force them in the right way is have basically three laws or one law of three articles. First is the manufacturer of any given product needs to provide a PDF on how to open it. The second article, the manufacturer of the product needs to sell all the devices to open and close their product against cost price through the outlets. Now that would really make Apple think like, why would I stick a proprietary tiny screen there when I also have to sell those screwdrivers in my store against cost price? Everybody can come in and buy one of these screwdrivers. That is insane. I can put in a watch Phillips screw and most people already have the watch Phillips screwdriver. So they would use that. That would make sense. Also, the last law that I think we should pass is that replacement parts should be delivered for at least five years and they should be able to be procured from the manufacturer directly or from the car, uh, factory or the factory outlets. And that way you at least can buy a replacement screen. It's weird that the people that create these screens are not allowed to sell those to me as a company. They're only allowed to be sold to Apple itself. Uh, in September I changed the battery in my iPhone 7 Plus, it's still going, and it was a hell of an undertaking. So initially I figured I'd go to Apple in my naive stupidity, and I said I want to buy a battery replacement kit, and they go like, uh, we don't sell those. You can send it to our certified repair center, and it will take you three days. I said, three days? The Chinaman on the corner does it in 45 minutes. Yes, but we need to send it to the certified repair center. They will fix it. And then the next day they will send it back. So three days. So I ended up eventually just buying everything online. 
from AliExpress from China. It's too stupid to think about this even. And yes, it's a hassle and it's not for everybody, but that's fine. I mean, not everybody is inclined to repair anything anyways. The stupidest counter argument from oligarchs like Apple and Tesla, we don't want people to get injured, especially Tesla. I mean, people get injured in car accidents all the time, also in Tesla, so what are you talking about? And somebody that isn't very savvy is not inclined to open up a Tesla and start hacking into it. Hell, most people even shun away from fixing a flat tire on their bike or changing the wheel on their car. Even if you allow legislation to get these products to do that against cost price and directly from the manufacturer. You don't need to worry about health and safety for people who repair. That is also their responsibility. You can hear I'm a libertarian. <laughs> So those are my three laws that I think we can pass in three weeks worldwide, easily, no, no problem. It doesn't hinder the manufacturers to produce whatever they want, how they want. We can keep innovating systems on a chip. That's the way to go, people. It's, we're not going to change our DIMMs anymore because DIMMs are slow. We're waiting. The processor is waiting on the memory. So bring the memory in with the processor. It makes sense. The same with the GPU. That is an advance we will not stop. It will only get worse. But as long as you can buy the whole PCB and replace it, then fine. That for me is right to repair. So this was a serious video for a change. I hope you liked it and see you in the next one.